So over the years, I've taken some great pictures of the night sky, such as this image of Andromeda behind me. But this year, one of my goals was to try taking pictures with some simpler equipment, namely my Google Pixel 6a cell phone. And I had won this cell phone adapter at a star party last year, uh, but I didn't get great results with it because it had no adjustments besides being able to move your phone up or down. So when recently a company called Move Shoot Move reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their premium cell phone adapter called the Move Shoot Move Tri Adapter, I said yes on the condition that I can provide an honest review and say whatever I want about it. So let's see what comes inside the box. My version also came with a little Bluetooth controller for my cell phone and this works both with Android as well as any iOS phone. Now first thing you have to do is open up the back of the remote and take out this little plastic piece and then put back the back cover and then it has this on off button on the side so you want to switch that to on. Now open up the Bluetooth tab on your cell phone and click pair new device and you'll see the device show up in the menu. Uh, mine says AB shutter 3 so I'm going to click on that and then click pair and now we're connected so now I'm going to open up the camera and in photo mode either one of those buttons will take a picture. Also in the box is a manual that gives you all the instructions on how to use the tri adapter. This knob at the top allows you to fit your tri adapter to any eyepiece while turning this knob on the side allows you to adjust the width of the adapter so you can fit your phone in there. And uh, this will work with just about any phone out there uh, up to a width of 9 centimeters or 3.58 inches. And this red knob at the back is very useful in adjusting the height of your phone above your eyepiece and properly positioning your phone. The first telescope I tested the tri adapter on was my Coronado PSD personal solar telescope and a Bader Hyperion 21mm eyepiece with a Teleview PowerMate 2.5x Barlow. Here is what the sun looked like through that combo and I'm using the 2x zoom on the phone now and you can see an immense amount of detail on the surface as well as the prominences in the outer region of the sun. Uh, let me brighten the view a little bit here. There we go and now we can see a bit more detail there and uh, you can see those prominences are massive. Uh, the ones on the left seem to be at least about 50,000 kilometers tall so they would be towering well over the earth and I'm going to brighten it a little bit more so you can see some more detail in those outer regions and uh, yeah there we go. It's a little bit overexposed but you get the idea. Next, I attached the tri adapter to my Garrett Optical 30 by 100 binoculars, and you can see a massive group of sunspots right near the center of the sun. And this group is absolutely massive, several times wider than the Earth itself. I also pointed the binoculars at the moon to see what it looks like. Next, I attached my tri adapter to the spotting scope and uh, zoomed in on the moon to see what that would look like. I took a short video and uh, you could see quite a few craters on the moon at that time. It was daytime, but the moon still looked quite good. Next, I attached my phone using the tri adapter to my nighttime telescope, an 8-inch f3.9 reflector on an equatorial mount. I used a 10-second timer and the night mode on my Google Pixel 6a phone to capture the Orion Nebula. And here is what the final image looked like. You could see the four stars in the trapezium as well as an immense amount of nebulosity. Uh, that is quite surprising for only a four-minute single exposure. Next, I attached the tri adapter and my phone to my 16 inch DOB and got this video of the lunar crater Copernicus. And then I converted that video uh, into AVI format in a program called PIPP and stacked the result in a program called AstroSurface. And to see how to do that, check out my other video, which I'm about to upload shortly, titled Lunar Imaging and Processing. I also got a video of the planet Jupiter here and one of its moons. So, after extensive testing, I found the Move Shoot Move Tri Adapter to be very well built, precise, and easy to use. And it's also compatible with just about any eyepiece and cell phone out there. 
So I would say I highly recommend it. I can't find any downsides to it. Uh, it is a little bit larger than the, the basic uh, cell phone adapter that I had tried earlier. However, that's kind of necessary for it to be able to accommodate all the various different eyepieces. But uh, yeah, no complaints about it whatsoever and highly recommend it. And if you are interested in buying one of these, uh, you can use the coupon code in the description below to get an extra 5% off discount. So if you've tried the tri adapter, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, clear skies.